Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're going to do a tips video. It's basically explaining how to best open your oversized sort of hardcovers or sort of omnibuses in order to not damage the um, spine or sort of binding of the, the books themselves and kind of get them to, to kind of lie out kind of best for the sort of reading experience. I originally done this video a lot longer showing kind of a lot of different kind of books um, but I think that's kind of overkill for making the point. Um, so I'm going to just do it with this one omnibus to show you guys and then as I say you'll get the, the general idea. We've got a brand new omnibus. This is Wonder Woman by Azrael. Um, now I would always take the dust jacket off first if there is one. So just kind of pop that off to the side itself. And then what you want to do is take the book itself and place it down on a flat surface on the spine itself. I'm going to move this table back so you guys can see. Right. So once you've got it like that, what you want to do is just place the, the two sides down flat and you're basically working your way into the centre of the book. Now, if the pages lay down flat, you don't have to put any kind of effort in, then, you know, just let them kind of lay down. Um, if not, um, then you can just sort of brush your hand along the, the gutter, which is the sort of inside um, kind of fold of the pages, just to kind of push them down a little bit. Um, I wouldn't sort of push and buckle the pages, but just enough to kind of let them settle a little bit more, and that'll help the, the even kind of spread. So what you want to do is let just a little kind of cluster kind of fall at each kind of side, bit by bit as you work your way towards the, the centre of the book. Now, if you guys pay attention here while this is kind of happening, what you should see is the actual binding itself raising away from the spine. The spine being the hard cover of the book itself and the binding being basically a soft material that the pages are, are basically sewn into. Now what should start happening as you get towards the, the middle of the book is you'll notice that the, the bind starts raising up away from the spine. And that's a good thing. It means that basically when you get it kind of spreading out like this, you, you don't get any kind of gutter in the, in the kind of pages because everything kind of lies out properly kind of flat across there. Now, I say I wouldn't do this just once and then leave your book kind of sitting out. If you do, it's probably going to set on that position. And what you can get is the, the spines themselves kind of fracture a lot heavier in one area because you've not stretched out kind of fully yet. So I would always do this um, somewhere around two to three times before you're kind of reading a book. Um, and I actually tend to do it once um, if I'm reading the book as well. So say for instance I've done this when I first kind of got a book and I put it on my put it on my shelf. Um, if I then say take the book to work um, two three days each day I'm reading it. Uh, my colleagues gonna give me funny looks, but I'll place the the book kind of down and, and and do one sort of stretch through before I actually read on my on my lunch break. And again, that just helps to to keep things kind of evenly um, sort of spread across the spine, and you're not going to end up with any kind of book tilting off to one side or you know the glue kind of fracturing in some kind of weird way. You will find in different books, some of them will raise better than others, um, and some are actually glued to the spine. If they're glued to the spine, you might find the spine itself curves with the overall um, kind of binding, um, which is okay um, if the book's kind of designed to do that. Um, if the book's got a really hard spine and it's glued, then you're probably just going to find you've got more gutter in your pages. Okay, so I say I think by now you've got the idea of what you're kind of doing. Um, we're just spreading the pages out bit by bit, two or three times. As I say, there's not really any consistency to it as long as you're not doing gigantic chunks at a time. Just try and keep it kind of even on, on both sides of the book. So 
So I hope that helps you guys out um, as to kind of understanding how best to kind of stretch out the, the binding in your books um, and understanding what the difference between um, the binding part of the book is and what the, the kind of spine is. I'm going to give you guys just a kind of closer look there just now because you'll see this is a lot more sort of drastic raise than um, I've shown in a lot of my closer look videos where you see the rebirth um, kind of hardcovers and it's just got a tiny little kind of raise up before you kind of get those. But as I say, it varies depending on the book. The more um, it kind of raises, the more likely your book is a proper sewn bind and you're going to get a nice kind of open page. The less it kind of raises here, the more likely that you're going to have um, a heavier glue in the bind. Um, or as I say, a completely glued down bind, in which case the reading experience isn't really going to be as good. Um, I still do stretch those glued binds, even if, as I say, it's something like a slightly thicker um, sort of trade, because I find that still allows the book to open evenly, rather than having, you know, the first few pages kind of pulling and pulling and pulling as you kind of go through. You've almost kind of... Um, kind of pre-stretched all those pages to just kind of nicely lie. Um, so as I say, I do it on, on pretty much every book. I know that's probably a no-no for some people, they wouldn't want to stretch out their kind of soft backs, but as I say, I find that, you know, it helps. Let me know what your experiences have been, if you've had any, you know, spines completely go to hell, or, you know, just kind of what your experience with bigger kind of books as a whole has kind of been, and if there's any tips that, that you want to kind of share to the, to the kind of group as a whole. As always, share this video with any friends who you think might, you know, learn from this as well. You know, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know below if you kind of enjoy this. You know, like the video, um, you know, subscribe to the channel. But as I say, I only really know if that specific video is good or relating to you if you write it in the comments and let me know. Um, so, as I say, just comment away and uh, I'll try and reply as best I can. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.